campus update. The excitement is growing. Bringing humanity home, energy and event update. Greetings, love beings. The energy of excitement is growing, and you can feel this in the air around you if you are sensitive. At the beginning of this year, we said this was love, love's year in all the ways, and we were not kidding. Love is being made manifest within all of you, per the lust decrees, and is an unstoppable energy on the move. Quoted from Lauren C. Corgo. This trueness made manifest is what the focus of October is all about. We are taking our practice swings this month, enacting a full dress rehearsal in preparation for the big show, post-2012. This month, we learn in tangible ways how to effectively be the change through truth and action as we cautiously begin to bring in our bigger selves to more of the world stage. And just in case you are thinking of squirming out this late in the game, I'm here to inform you that this is not an option. We are all in this together, and we all absolutely need each other to come out, to find the courage to be true, and to walk through these last miles united as one. Right after our portal opening of 1010, we directly headed for our new moon energy. This new moon energy is a Libra, which brings an energy of divine justice and will intensify the Scorpio energy of bringing all which is hidden to the forefront and bringing many more together into unity. This new moon is containing powerful manifestation energies and is also releasing energy for the true abundance for planet Earth equal heart. Astrologers are saying this could be our best one yet. Guess they will just keep getting grander from here. Quoted from astrologer Kelly Rosano, this could be our best new moon in 2012. Yet, we want to be cautiously optimistic for two reasons. One, we are at the beginning of the new moon cycle. We can't see it down the road. We are at the starting point. Two, Jupiter is retrograde, and people can overpromise, overcommit, and overextend themselves. It is very easy to scatter ourselves in the Libra Jupiter high octane optimistic energy. Things can be too good to be true. However, Sirius Saturn is making a grand triune, trip opportunities and success. With spiritual Neptune and asteroid Ceres, the goddess of nurturance and feminine strength. Saturn is reassuring us that we can make our dreams real. End of quote. And quoted from Depali Desai. There's an electric humming in the air as we prepare for the new moon in Libra. The new moon in Libra represents a time of experiencing grace and harmony, both within and in relationships with others, and including all of life. End of quote. It may not feel so, for some a lot is happening, yet we can share with you much is happening. <clears throat> Love is happening and awakening in all hearts all over the planet at an astonishing rate. This is very exciting. As each one wakes up, the higher grid around the planet intensifies, and all awakened ones get blasts of this energy. As this intensifies, this is putting continual pressure on the old energies to either transform or vacate the planet. The moment to be love on this planet is now, as only love will make it through this transition. Quoted from Shannon, Go within. Be at peace. We'll greet you there in the depth of your heart. The time is growing short now for those working for the divine. Big things are about to happen. Most outer things will be changing. How you respond to the changes will be your reward or your curse. Let love be your guiding thought. We are all one in the great scheme of things and those who think otherwise are about to get the surprise of their lives in a very short order. Be the love you desire, and you will create that path. If not well, then you will certainly get that too. There is no middle road, just what you think and just what you choose. So choose in love. Use the remaining time to think about being surrounded by many loving beings. Create your path to love in your heart, and nothing will stop you. We are with you. The great creator is watching personally these last months as we go into the great cycle of rebirth. He, she, 
is seeing everything that everyone is doing. Nothing has escaped love's attention. All my love. End of quote. In one of our updates, we shared a final cleansing before the 1221 is now underway. There is nowhere to go for the depths or energies. This is a continual process we are now in. All which is not aligned with the unified field, which is the highest energy on the planet right now, will be coming up to be transformed. This will occur multidimensionally throughout the planet. By December 21st, 2012, all must be aligned with this unified field of energy, which is a galactic center. This is your destinies to arrive into the galactic cart altogether, which is the present moment of now. Currently, everyone is spiraling together into the center. Quoted from Laura, our entire solar system is a living being. This would go along with the statement, as above, so below. We know that human beings are at one and in an awakened state when their chakras are aligned with our bodies. Similarly, we are going towards a full alignment of our solar system's planet around December 21st, 2012. And also we are aligned with our galaxy's heart chakra or galactic center. Meanwhile, we will be enjoying the enlightenment of our entire solar system and possibly our own galaxy. Wow. I feel so lucky to be on Earth for this unique occasion. This will be a true blessing of light, joy, and consciousness. I cannot wait. End of quote. Decreed by heaven, the divine energy of true abundance for planet Earth equal heart is being released through this new moon. This is the divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth equal heart. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission and all love is unconditionally, we are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, Humanities Earth Allies, the Company of Heaven, and the First Contact Ground Crew Team. <laughs>